There we go. Okay, that's a good fish. Come on, don't come off. Ooh. Oh, that's a good bass. Oh man, guys, so I literally just drove about an hour and realized I left my bag with all my tackle where I'm staying. So I have one lure with me right now. I might just end up leaving and going to Walmart and coming back, but man, that sucks. Oh, there we go. What do we got here? A, I'm not sure. Looks like a hybrid between a bluegill and green sunfish. There we go. It's about the same size as the other ones. There we go. It's like they're all stacked back in that corner, man. <sighs> Alright guys, so today is Wednesday, September 21st, and it's a full 48 hours since I was last here. So last time I came here on Monday, I left my, all my fishing lures and my GoPro batteries at home. So today I'm back, I'm fishing wild, <laughs> Merkel Wildlife Sanctuary. I believe they have five different ponds here. I fished here years ago, and my plan today is to try to catch a fish out of each of those ponds. And after that, they have access to the Patuxent, I believe, here as well. So if I can get a fish out of all those ponds, I may try to hit up the Patuxent. I do got to go to the laundromat and do laundry today, so we'll see how time goes. It's about 10.40 right now, but uh, we'll go ahead and get rigged up and get started. Alright, so I probably will include the catches I got the other day, but Probably. Oh, shoot, <laughs> my GoPro cut off. All right, cast number one, fish number one, little green sunfish. Oh, there we go, a few inches deep. All right guys, so I just tried to check my GoPro files and it looks like they're all corrupt, so I guess starting over again with the GoPro. But uh, third fish in. See if I can get one on this with the GoPro actually running. There we go. Oh, this thing had it. Yeah, man, I think all these fish just might be small sunfish. I don't think. I really have access to fish the other side. At least that's how, when I came here on Monday, the other side is super overgrown. And I have a bunch of bites on my legs now from being here the other day. So don't want to do that again. There we go. Probably another small sunfish. And little bluegill. There we go. It was a little bit better, but it's probably just, yeah, another small sunfish. All right, largest fish of the day so far. Looks like a hybrid bluegill green sunfish. So my GoPro turned off normally that time, so I'm assuming that 
after turning it back on and off the file should be all right i don't know if i should just move ponds or if i should try changing out to a larger lure and seeing if i could get anything else other than these small sunfish i might end up coming back here before i fish the river and catching a few saving them for cut bait oh got some and it's like another hybrid so there's some pond i call it the pond in the woods in uh huntsville pretty much has all this same type of size of fish looks like hybrids between green sunfish and bluegill and they don't get much bigger than what I've been pulling out of here. But you'd think there probably should be at least one decent sized bass in here. The oxygen levels are good enough. There we go. <sighs> Straight bluegill. Yeah, man, these things are all super tiny. There we go. Oh, finally, man. I'll take it. All right, just got the first fish from pond number two after about 30 minutes of fishing. Three lure changes. Let's get him back. There we go. Oh, no, it came off. Shoot. There we go. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Woo! Muddy. <laughs> well, came off trying to rinse them off. But uh, count it. There we go. Okay, that's a good fish. Come on, don't come off. Ooh. Oh, that's a good bass. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, nice. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Man, look at this guy. Whoo. Missing one eye. Nice. Definitely the biggest bass of the year so far for me. All right, man. Got this nice bass on this donkey tail. just sent Britta 
video I took on my phone of that bass. And she's like, what is that, a wide mouth bass? And I started laughing. I never heard anybody call them a wide mouth bass. I told her large mouth and she corrected me saying that she knows people that calls them wide mouth bass. So, oh, just got hit. There we, oh, oh, another. <laughs> what is, what is this? A, sh a shad? <laughs> what on earth? Man, this thing's big. Man, having all types of luck today. All right, guys, I just got my big camera out just so I get a better video of him. I think it's a shad. If you guys know for sure, let me know. But I think it's some type of shad. Go ahead and throw him back. But he was definitely hooked in the mouth. All right guys, so I think you have to drive to go ahead and get to the other ponds, but I'm not sure. Either way, I know that if you drive, you can get to access the Patuxent. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start driving. Plus I started to feel dehydrated out here and need to get some water. But so far, so good. Let me see how long I've been fishing. So I have been fishing for, it's 122, so almost three hours. All right guys, there was a couple at the last spot I was gonna fish and I didn't want to disturb them. So that's gonna be it for the day. So now it's time to go do laundry and finally get some food. It's about, I've been fishing probably for about four hours off and on. So it ended up being a pretty good day, but I hope you guys are all doing well and I will catch you on the next one. Take care.